I have a few out of town races coming up, but I don't wanna to spend too much money. I'd rather just camp in my car, but I've never done it before. In order for me to consider solo car camping a success, I wanna be able to do all of these things, but I gotta get moving. There's a storm coming in tonight. <sighs> I will be staying at Kohler Campgrounds in Bentonville, Arkansas, where I live. I wanted to have an out. Something goes wrong, I can just go home. My car is a 2014 Toyota Highlander. It's bone stock, no off-road tires or anything. I just want to drive on highways, maybe gravel roads, to get to campgrounds so I can ride my mountain bike. Well, this is my home for the night. Large tent site, zero one, and I've already made my first mistake. There's a really large deck for a tent, really close to the bathrooms, there's showers, all that stuff. But I am sleeping in my car, and I really thought there was gonna be a spot to you know, back up the car, but there's not. And my car is just a few feet that way. And hopefully that's not against the rules or something to sleep in your car. I don't see why it would. I probably should have got a camper van spot, but then again, the sign right there says class B camper van only. And I don't have a class B camper van, so I'm not really sure what I should have done in this situation. I have a pretty nice picnic table here, so I'm gonna haul some stuff out of my uh, car to make dinner here in a little bit. But before I go doing all that, the sun's not down yet and I'm at Kohler. There's some great mountain bike trails here. So I'm gonna go try to drain my e-bike battery, maybe ride for like an hour or two, and then I'll see you then. Oh man, right as I'm getting ready to take off, it starts raining already. And uh, I'm noticing really quick with just having a car to camp in, it's like, where do I take shelter for the rain? I guess I just gotta get in. <laughs> but I, I just think it's a quick little storm that's gonna pass, but the rain is gonna be coming down all night long. So maybe I should get this, uh, get this car organized a little bit. So with my full-size SUV here, I don't know, is it full-size uh, Toyota, Toyota Highlander? I'm not sure, but I checked and I can lay down lengthways here and not be scrunched at all. I can fully extend my body. So I got something that I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed in. I, uh, I was watching camping videos online and one of the guys recommended this thing, but I'm pretty disappointed. It is a, uh, a foam mattress that I roll out here. It is a single, but really it's super thin. It's like, I should have checked the specs online. I, I trusted an influencer, but yeah, I can fully extend this right here. Um, it's, I am worried about this, uh, this bump between the seat, cause I got the seats laid down. I'm worried about that bump, feeling that. Um, but yeah, I think this is a pretty good setup. Got my pillow here. I'm gonna shift it down a little bit once I, you know, move the camera. But I think this will be a pretty good setup. And it's funny. There's a uh, there's a campground guy uh, driving around, and he's like, you know, just being friendly, asking if anyone needs any help. And I'm wondering, you know, am I allowed to just sleep in my car, not the tent space? And um, one thing I learned when I was a nurse is don't ask the question you don't want the answer to. So if, if I do ask and he says, no, you can't sleep in your car, then what am I gonna do, just go home? <laughs> so I'm kind of doing like a stealth camp mission in my mind at least. Quick little test fit though. Let's see. Oh yeah, Whoa. oh yeah. That's gonna be pretty good, I think. Let's close that door. Let's 
see here. Yeah. Yeah, I can't feel that, that bump there at all, so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. I think uh, I think this is gonna work out. <laughs> I was a little skeptical. So was my wife. <laughs> well, the rain finally let off, but I'm just, I'm running out of daylight, so I'm officially giving up on <laughs> riding for today. That's okay, I'm here to test out this camping setup. I just got this new little gadget here. I'll tell you about it in a second. It's actually ridiculous how much stuff I brought. But I just wanted to uh, kind of like stress test. This is a battery. I kind of want to stress test this and see just kind of everything that I can do. Yeah, so this is how I'm having dinner. <laughs> this is called a Blue Eddy AC240 and it's a massive battery. Thanks to Blue Eddy for sponsoring this video. This is the world's first IP65 outdoor portable power station. IP65 means it's water resistant and dust proof. And to test this out, Blue Eddy wanted me to spray it directly with a water hose and then tilt it out and the water just pours right out. Then right away I can just power on an appliance. Pretty remarkable. It's also super dust tight. So they had me douse it with flour and then just tilt it and the dust falls right out. So obviously this is my first time camping. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm an expert about these batteries. I don't really know, so I'll read off the stats. So it, has, it says it has an AC output of 2,400 watts, the power capacity of 1,536 watt hours, and the power lifting mode up to 3,600 watts. And the fast charging, I tested this out myself, 80% within 45 minutes and a full charge within 70 minutes. And if you have solar panels for this thing, they sell solar panels to charge it, you can get a full charge in two hours pretty crazy. This AC240 just released April 2nd and if you want to get one I'll have a link in the description and use code EVAN240 to get $100 off your Blue Eddy AC240 offer ends April 29th. I just really want a big old huge battery to be able to power stuff and really have no restrictions so I brought a uh, something that's probably a heavy load for a battery like this a freaking pressure cooker and I have the air fryer attachment so we're gonna make ourselves some uh, chicken and rice well we got power obviously I could have just brought some rice from home but really where's the fun in that you know I wanted to test this out because uh, yeah I'm going to unbound which is in Kansas that's a multi-day trip. So right now I just gotta, you gotta wash your rice, people. I'm not worried about the battery in the rain, but I am worried about this pressure cooker. Should I be worried about operating a, an appliance in the rain? I don't know, I might move this into the car. That's the third wash, that should be enough. All right, here we go. Please, no rain. Let's not have any rain. Let's get it on rice. Let's see if this works, huh? Well, looks like it has sealed. So we are going good, man. Get this all plugged in. All right, it's charging. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's my uh, here's my chicken. So, um, no, these are not chicken nuggies. <laughs> this is the adult version, okay? Yeah, just frozen chicken. It's not the it's not chicken nuggets. It's like actual chicken in there, breaded. And uh, yeah, I got the little air fryer attachment for this thing. So, we'll see how that works too. The air fryer, I think, is going to draw more power than this thing. It always kind of startles me to open these pressure cookers. I don't want it to boom, explode on me. All 
All right. Maybe use a little bit too much water. Ooh, hot. This is the air fryer attachment. Not really sure how it works, but we'll figure it out. That's some good rice. You gotta make sure you wash your rice. This is so sticky and mm. the um, the wind is picking up right now, and uh, about 10 p.m. a really big storm is coming in, and I just checked the weather. It looks like it's gonna just rain nonstop from like 10 p.m. all the way through the morning. So. So much for riding, <laughs> but um, you know, this is Kohler. I live in Bentonville. I just live so close to here. So, I mean, these are my local trails. So I'm not really bummed about missing out about riding. This is all just testing out the solo camping setup. And um, I, I have, I'm married. I have four kids and uh, uh, I got three little boys, one, two, and three. And I really would love to take them on these kind of trips. This is fun, man. Mm. Cool. Let's see how this turned out here. Let's check the battery level here. It says 73%. So that was a pretty heavy load. I mean, a pressure cooker and an air fryer, I mean, that's like as much power draw as it gets. So I'm gonna enjoy my meal here and uh, just kind of take in the nature because it's getting dark. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the car. This thing's heavy. I think it weighs like 70 pounds or something like that. Okay. All right. It is properly dark now. And uh, with this storm coming, it's getting kind of windy. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to uh, get my bike in here and be able to sleep. I mean, this is a totally gated campground, so I feel pretty safe, but it's like, I love this bike. E-bikes are waterproof, all right? But I don't wanna just leave it out <laughs> while it's raining and storming all night. So I love this bike. But uh, yeah, let's get this thing, let's get all situated here. They say hindsight is 2020, and looking back on this footage, oh, editing this video, I probably should have brought a tarp and then stored the bike on the bike rack, tarped up and everything, because this bike took up a lot of space in the back of the car. I'm gonna put the uh, battery right where I can access it. Yeah, so I'll be honest, uh, 
it does feel a little crammed in here, especially if I'm sitting like this. And uh, I mean, for eight o'clock, it's kind of early to be laying down already. Uh, so, I mean, I, there's a bunch of other people here with uh, with tents, and it's like, it's like, man, kind of wish I had a tent. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's like you always want what you what you don't have, right? You or it's it's a tendency to want what others have. And uh, yeah, a tent would be nice. Probably would be a better scenario. But I mean, this is like, this is pretty raw. And another bad thing, it's like, it kind of stinks in here, like like dirty clothes or something. And I don't have a place to put them, you know? Everything's in the car. Maybe the bike is dirty smelling, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's my feet. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's the socks. <laughs> Ah, yeah, so I got a fan that runs off of a USB-C. I can't endorse the product, obviously, but I'll have a link in the description for everything. Yeah, it runs off USB-C, but it's a, uh, a clip-on, so I'll figure out a spot to clip it on I think clipping it on the bike is probably probably my best option there it's a really small fan below directly at me there I still don't know if I'm allowed to uh, be sleeping in my car hopefully I don't get caught actually I should probably turn down the lights while I enjoy this pie let's see here let's turn this thing off here can you see me <laughs> That was the, uh, those lights that just passed for the, was the campground manager. Uh, he's, he's pretty friendly. He was asking about me making this video and everything, but I still didn't ask him if it's against the rules to be sleeping in the car. So I'm gonna turn down these lights, enjoy this pie, and maybe watch a little YouTube. It's about 10 p.m. now. Can't believe I've been on my phone for two hours, but yeah, hey, I, I had some good YouTube videos to watch. I actually switched sides. I had my head on that side before, and uh, I don't know. I like it a lot better on this side. I, I feel like there's more like room, and uh, but one thing, this mattress, this dinky little stupid mattress, is uh, I'm returning it, man. It's it's only. I looked it up, it says it's 2.36 inches thick, and my body weight just compresses it, so I'm basically laying on the hard trunk surface. So, I mean, it'll be all right. I, I feel pretty comfortable, and I really picked a good day to uh, do this because it's, um, it's 50 degrees out. Like, I have my sleeping bag here that I bought. I'm not even, there's no point of even using it. I mean, I got a blanket here. It's like, I'm warm, man, like this is awesome. Oh yeah, I gotta charge my devices here. 72%, not bad. Gotta charge the phone. Got the camera battery. Still need to go throw the lemon pie out. I'm just, I'm not trying to complain too much cause I mean, just the way the, the world is right now with the inflation and house prices going crazy. It's like, man, I think a lot more people are going to be living in their cars uh, not because they want to. I, I think that's going to be a new thing is just people living in these like really, really small houses, the micro homes, or just forced to live in their car. Ah, man, it's, it's like, ah, I, I do... I do get worried about, you know, the inflation and people, some people call it corporate greed, whatever you want to call it. Like the inflation is out of control right now. And a hundred thousand dollars in some places is, is the poverty line, you know? So, um, yeah, just trying to, trying to be positive. And all of a sudden this campground just got super duper quiet. All the lights are off now. I don't hear a single person out there now. So 
if uh, if anything happens overnight, I'll flip on the camera again and uh, show you guys what's going on. But if not, see you guys in the morning. Well, I can't sleep. It's like uh, two in the morning. It just started raining actually, and that that mattress is really holding me back. It's like causing like shoulder pain and. And then now I, ha I feel like I'm getting like a sore throat or something, so I'm like chugging water and stuff. Well, good morning. That was the roughest night's sleep I've had in a while, and I uh, I have a, a newborn, basically. <laughs> oh, man. This this mattress is, is not good. It's just like, oh, so stiff. I could basically only sleep on my stomach and I didn't really fall asleep till 2.30, but somehow I just slept in till 9 a.m. So what the heck was that? I I would, I was thinking like, cause I, I just couldn't sleep, man. I was like, oh, I'm gonna, on the checklist, I'm gonna give this a, a fail. But sleep, slept till freaking after nine, I've, I've never slept past nine before. <laughs> what the hell? So I, I guess the sleep does get a check mark, but reluctantly, I, I, I gotta make some changes, man. I, I think I'm gonna return this mattress. I didn't even use a sleeping bag. That fan died and uh, uh, online it said you could um, plug it in, you know, to power. And it can operate while plugged in on low mode. That's not true. So the only thing left to do now is make breakfast. See how that goes. About the sleep. It took me several days to recover from camping in the car. And it was by far the worst night's sleep I've had in ages. And imagine trying to perform your best for a race after your worst night of sleep. So that was a fail on the checklist. I don't know if I want to be operating electronics on standing water. All right, it is oatmeal time. I'm gonna pour some boiling water over that. And then the only thing that I forgot out of everything, I made a huge long list. I forgot a coffee mug. So I'm gonna make some coffee. I like making <clears throat> pour over coffee. I started doing this in like November and I haven't stopped. I mean, it's a really good way to make coffee and uh, I love it. I just hope that uh, the water doesn't melt the cup. I could smell these grounds the entire night in the car. <sighs> that was the last thing I needed to do with the battery. Let's check the charge. 52%, not bad. I think that's pretty good. I ran a pressure cooker, an air fryer, a hot kettle and I charged my phone and my camera batteries all night I tried charging this stupid fan here so I mean that's a lot of battery right there <laughs> I think I'm gonna have fun with this thing I think it's gonna be coming in clutch pour in a little sugar and dissolve 
all that up. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. I was feeling if the cup was soft, but no, we're good. <laughs> That's good stuff, man. Steaming up in here. Wow, this all the windows are steamed up. That's crazy. So it is a bummer that I didn't get to test the e-bike charging with the battery and I didn't even get to ride. And I could wait it out for the sun to come out, wait for the rain to pass, but I don't know. I miss my wife and kids, so I think I'm gonna head home. See ya.